Welcome to the Benno Travel Guide to Spain. This travel guide is everything you need to know about visiting Spain. So, why visit Spain? Because of course, the massive amount of swimming pools and resorts there is in some place in Spain. It's just mile upon mile of non-stop water-wall resort. It's like nothing else. I mean, there's other hot countries that have like resort hotels, but Spain's completely different because of just the number and everywhere you look, there's resorts. It's like nothing else. It's absolutely amazing. So first thing, never book your flight and hotel separately. In a lot of other places in the world, buying flight and hotel separately, you might get a cheaper deal. But in Spain, you'll never get a cheaper deal. Because Spain has the biggest and most competitive holiday industry in Europe. And the package holidays are so cheap. Often you can get package holidays for like five nights and sometimes even including breakfast and flights for £100 per person. That is crazily cheap. That is so ridiculous you get these holidays so cheap. You know, like going to another city in England, you often end up spending more money than that. It's like Spain is so amazing. Although not in the summer holidays. Prices triple in the summer holidays and everything goes really expensive so go outside of the summer holidays but when it's still hot because that's pretty much the best time to go and these deals we can get 100 pounds per person for like five nights you're not finding them like on easyjet's website or on websites like teletext holidays make sure you search for the hotels in price order and choose the cheapest so look at hotels and always go for the cheapest one but and look at reviews if it's got really bad reviews and looks terrible go for the second cheapest or the third cheapest pretty much go for the cheapest hotel that doesn't have terrible reviews there is no point going for the expensive hotels. Hotels are pretty much all the same and you don't get that much more for expensive hotels. Now I know a lot of people have a holiday in Spain and they've like spent over a thousand pounds on their holiday. Why? What is the point of paying such ridiculous amounts of money? You don't really get much for it. And if you like the really posh expensive hotels, why stay in an expensive hotel? Because you can just walk in. You might as well stay at the cheapest hotel and just walk in and enjoy the posh hotels. Because you can just walk in and enjoy the hotel. And a lot of times you can just jump in the pool and no one seems to notice. But actually to stay and sleep in the posh hotels is such a rip-off. Pretty much all hotels in Spain have swimming pools. Although be aware of the cheapest three-star hotels, the pool is nothing more than just a little shitty pool just so they can say they've got a swimming pool to be classified as three-star. So your cheapest three-star hotels don't think you'll be able to swim in the pool because it'll be an absolute shit pool. But that doesn't matter because you can just walk into the pool of the hotel next door. And also be aware of pool safety. The swimming pools can be pretty bad. There's three types of swimming pool you get in Spain. Chlorinated, salted and UV light treated. And in these swimming pools, you just have to sort of can have a look at the pool and think, is this pool safe? Does it look well cleaned? Does it look well maintained? And if it's not well maintained, don't go in it and try another swimming pool. Just be aware that there is quite a bit of a lack of safety. And also notice with the hotels, the actual structure of the building is incredibly cheap. Spain is some of the most cheapest built buildings you'll see anywhere in Europe. A really cheap construction, but actually still really nice to go to. Also be aware that the infrastructure is often quite poor in Spain. For example, you cannot drink the tap water in Spain. You have to buy bottled water, which is very shocking for a country as big as Spain to not have drinkable tap water. Next thing, day-to-day -day costs when having a holiday in Spain. Do not shop at the little convenience shops that you get dotted around next to the different resorts. These little supermarkets will rip you off. They have stupid prices for their stuff and they have the attitude of, well, all these tourists on holiday, they're not going to put in the effort of finding somewhere cheaper. Now, just sell your products many times more expensive than what the products are actually worth. And often these little shops all shortchange you. Always go to the big supermarkets. Don't go to the little ones. And also, be aware of people in the street coming up to you trying to offer you products or services. These are always terrible value for money. When walking around areas in Spain, you have regular people coming up either trying to sell you cheap souvenirs, don't buy those, are absolute rubbish, or you get people offering services such as speedboat rides and stuff like that. Just be aware, if you want to do a speedboat ride, you can get it much cheaper if you book in advance online. Don't just buy something because someone's come up to you offering something. If you want something, go and get it yourself. Generally speaking, don't accept services from people coming up to you and offering you services. A lot of the people in Spain do not like tourists. They all just pretend they like tourists and pretend to be friendly to try and get as much money off you as possible. Spain's a bit of an odd mixture in a way because there's some of the nicest swimming pools, nicest resorts and one of the nicest places to go but at the same time don't just let your guard down. You have to be really careful walking around Spain and not get ripped off. Budget tightly and be tight with your money. Don't just give your money away because you'll end up 
giving away hundreds of euros if you're not careful. Next thing, drinking alcohol. Now, I think sometimes I'm a bit odd. I seem quite different to other people because I never drink alcohol. But I know a lot of people, or pretty much most people, that go to Spain on a holiday are going there to drink alcohol. Be very careful with this. I'd personally say that Spain would be one of the worst places to drink alcohol. Just because once you're drunk, you don't make good financial decisions. And people exploit this. If you go into some bar or nightclub, get drunk. Once you're drunk, you'll get waiters and people coming up to you all the time, persuading you to buy really expensive drinks. And you can spend like hundreds of euros in a night just on alcohol drinks. Because once you're drunk and can't make good decisions anymore, loads of Spanish people will come up to you trying to get money off you all the time. So be very, very careful with drinking. Make sure you have a budget and stick to your budget. Next thing is safety in Spain. Safety is not as good as you would think. It might be one of the nicest places to go to, but you can't let your guard down at all. In Spain, police local do not care about tourists having stuff stolen off them. I couldn't care less. And there's a, quite a lot of an attitude amongst Spanish people. Uh, tourists that come to Spain and get drunk are kind of asking to have their stuff stolen off them. And some people seem to have a dislike of English people. In some ways, that's quite understandable because you see people getting well too drunk in Spain and being sick everywhere. I mean, the Spanish people must be English people are complete idiots. And the other thing is, well, as nightclubs just trying to extort money off you when you're drunk, you also get actual people that will actually mug you. You get tough guys that walk around the areas where there's nightclubs. In Spain, it's pretty safe. The tough guys that actually mug you only operate actually where the nightclubs are, although pickpockets operate everywhere. So be aware, there will be pickpockets and lots of them everywhere you go in Spain. And pickpockets are very good. Don't be distracted for one minute because you will get pickpocketed. But around the nightclubs, you'll get actual muggings. And these people are big tough guys that walk around the streets at speed. And if they see anyone that's on their own and so drunk, I think that person's so drunk, they're not going to remember me if I steal their stuff from them. I'll just walk up to you, grab your bag and run. And you'll be so drunk, uh, you won't even quite realise what's happened at that moment. And these muggers get away with it because remember police local will not care about you my advice would be don't go drinking in spain but no one's going to listen to that advice because that's the reason a lot of people actually go to spain for is to drink alcohol these people at mug you are very unpleasant but if you are with someone else and you're not drunk you're pretty much guaranteed to not get mugged if you're on your own and are drunk you are pretty guaranteed to get mugged so just bear that in mind, I personally would not go walking around the areas where the nightclubs are on your own, even if you're not drunk, just in case one of the tough guys mistakes you for being drunk by accident and tries and grabs your bag off you anyway. And if you are going drinking, only bring the money with you for the alcohol you're going to buy. Bring nothing else with you. Do not bring your passport. Do not bring anything apart from your hotel room card and the money that you're spending to get alcohol. That way, if any tough guy comes up to you, they can't get anything off you. Also, as well as that in Spain, beware of other scams. Also, not in the nightclub areas, but just all around the tourist areas where tourists congregate. There'll be distractions. There'll be buskers or people dressed up in like fancy clothes standing here, like getting people to have their picture taken with them. Be aware that while you're having your picture taken or looking at people in fancy dress or various street performances, there'll be other people walking around pretending they're tourists, trying to pickpocket you as you watch the street performances. Often the pickpockets work with the people doing the street performances and share the money I managed to collect so be very very careful also on the beaches when you go swimming it's best to either leave all your stuff in the hotel and just go swimming with nothing else or find someone who is friendly and be careful who you trust look for someone trustworthy on the beach and ask if you can leave your stuff with that person on the beach and then that way go swimming but that is a little bit risky but whatever you do never leave your stuff unattended on the beach and go in the water you get people walking along beaches for bags left on their own and they just pick up the bag and walk off with it and again the police will not care and these people if they are caught would just claim that no one had ownership of that bag if you leave your stuff on the beach and go in the water lots of people will consider that as you've declared that bag you no longer have ownership for because you've left it on the beach and they can go and take it. So never leave your bags on the beach as you go swimming. Also, to go even further than that, don't have your bag behind you when sitting on the beach. If you're sitting on the beach just enjoying a beach and you have your bags with you, but you're not keeping proper eye on your bag, someone will quite likely just walk up to your bag and pick it up and walk off with it. So make sure you have a hold of all your bags at all times. 
and it's better off if you want to really enjoy a beach, leave all your stuff in the hotel and just go down to the beach. Although that is also has its own risks, because the hotels in Spain are not the slightest bit secure. They have the most flimsy doors that anyone could kick in very easily. They often they have all the keys for hotel rooms just behind reception where anyone could pick up a key and go into a room. In many places, someone could climb up the balconies outside of a hotel and the balcony doors do not lock. So they'll just climb up the outside of the hotel onto the balcony and walk into your room and take your stuff. So hotel rooms are not secure. If you're wanting to leave stuff in the hotel room, make sure your hotel room has a safe. Or if it's got a full ceiling, leave your stuff in the full ceiling so no one can see your stuff if they do enter your hotel room. Also, when travelling on the metros, now in Spain, I didn't find the metros as interesting as metros in other places in the world. The older trains are interesting, but the newer trains all seem to be very soundproofed, and the only sound you can really hear on these trains is the sound of the very heavy air conditioning. So they're not really the world's most interesting metro trains, but they're still, if you're in somewhere that's got a metro, it's still worth going on the metro just to see it. But just be aware, on metros in Spain are like the big hotspots for pickpocketing. People would easily just slip a hand into your pocket and take your stuff while on the metro. Make sure you have everything in your bag, anything important such as credit cards and passports, leave in an inside pocket in your bag and wear your bag on the front of you, not on the back of you. And that is the only way to prevent a pit pocket. And also be aware that pit pockets are everywhere, absolutely everywhere where tourists gather, there will be lots and lots of pit pockets. Don't underestimate the pit pockets in Spain. So that concludes my travel guide to Spain. So to sum up, be alert at all times for people stealing your stuff. But other than that, who hasn't put you off, Spain is a very, very nice place to go to just because of the epic number of amazing resorts everywhere you look. So then, before I finish this video, one last thing, what are the best places to visit in Spain? Now here are the list of the best places. There is Costa Brava, which is the stretch of coast located between Barcelona and Girona. This has loads of resort hotels and is very nice. There's also Barcelona itself, which is nice, but be aware it's quite a rough city and it's also the pickpocketing capital of Europe. Also, there is Benidorm, which is absolutely amazing. There's nowhere quite like Benidorm anywhere else in Europe. It's full of tall towers. Everywhere you look, there's tall towers. It's absolutely amazing. Also, there's the islands of Mallorca and Ibiza. These islands have loads of resort hotels. In Mallorca, there's a section of 10 kilometers of non-stop back-to-back -back resorts. It's amazing. Also, as Madrid, the capital, I haven't been there yet. Also, down south, there's the African islands owned by Spain, such as Lanzarote, which is an absolutely amazing place. There's massive resorts, and loads and loads of these resorts everywhere. It's absolutely amazing. Thank <laughs> you.